hey guys welcome back to my channel happy new year to you guys i really missed you guys so much because i have been inconsistent on this channel for a very long time but thankfully i'm back and better okay so today's video is sponsored by your lover hairs they sent me a hair to review for them and i want to quickly do like a lace plucking and not bleaching tutorial for you guys this is their 5x5 lace closure wig and you're also going to see more information about this hair later on in the video and also in the description box below so to bleach the knot i'll be using my hair bleaching powder and a developer this is a very small developer i got from a local beauty supply store and it's a 12 percent developer so i just basically turned some of the bleaching powder into a cup and i'm adding some developer to it like you just want to gradually add the developer till you get the consistency that you want if it ends up being too runny and you want it to be thick you can add more um, bleaching powder or if it's too thick and you want it to be a bit you know runny you can add more developer for bleaching your knot you don't want the consistency to be too runny because you don't want it to slip through the lace and bleach other parts of the hair and you also do not want it to be too thick so you can easily spread it on the lace so a medium consistency is good so first you want to spread some water on the hair i actually forgot to do that and i realized after i washed off the first bleach and i wanted to like re-bleed the lace again so it's better to spread some water on the hair to bring all the hair strands together and that way it will be very easy for you to apply the bleaching powder you want to cover all the lace with the bleach mixture and basically just leave it for some minutes and check to see if you've gotten your desired effect before washing off i can't give the exact time duration because different hairs react to bleach differently and i washed off the flex bleach and i realized that it didn't really bleach as much as i would want so i went back to reapply again when i was okay with the result i rinsed off the bleach under running water and then i washed using the albato v05 shampoo then i applied the conditioner and tied in a plastic bag for about 10 minutes before i did the final wash so this is just basically me detangling the hair with my rat tail comb before I finally leave it to air dry. And y'all can see how that comb is passing through the hair freely, no tangles or anything. Like this hair is really amazing. So I don't like my knots over bleached as y'all can see. I just basically did a light bleaching. So while we're waiting for the hair to dry up, I'm going to play a clip of the hair info for you guys. Hey guys, so I received the package from your lover hairs. A hair company in china and they sent me a box of their hair to do a review for them so i want to do like a first impression video before i finally do an installation video on my youtube channel so the hair came in this box and this is how your order is going to be packaged when you shop a products from their website when you open the box you're going to see a thank you card and also a stock cap to install your wig and a band to secure your lace in place during installation like this and also a pair of four lashes so i think there are other gifts when you shop from a particular amount and above and i'm not so sure but i'm going to check and put pictures on here for you guys to see what i mean here came in this bag and i'm going to quickly open it for you guys to see so this is their 26 inches 5x5 closure silky straight human hair and 150% density for the density i decided to go for something low because i i really wear wigs i really wear wigs because i don't like discomfort so i had to go for the least density and surprisingly this is so full and this is just this is just really okay if you are like me like if you don't like all the stress of wearing you know something heavy on your head so this is what the closure looks like and it has like the natural hairline effect for those of you who do not want to go through the stress of plucking your lace yeah it looks so so natural and if you don't want to go through the stress of bleaching the knots you can basically just use your foundation or powder and this will go well with your skin tone so the inner part of the cap looks like this and it has four combs and an adjustable band here so you can properly adhere this wig to your head and you can see how nicely sewn the wig is but i'll be doing a knot bleaching and um hairline plucking tutorial on my channel for those who are interested so this is how long the wig is i honestly do not know what i was thinking when i actually picked 26 inches like i'm a very short person 
and i don't know how this is going to be on my head <laughs> imagine a very short human being wearing a very long wig i hope it's going to be nice i hope so i think it's going to be nice actually the hair texture for someone like me who has very good experience with human hair from the ones that i buy to work for clients and the ones that clients send to me i can tell that the hair texture is really nice and there's no shedding like there's no shedding so i can't really remember the exact cost of this wig but i'm also going to put pictures on the screen for you and you can also get a percentage off when you use my discount code i'm also going to leave the information down below so you can see i think there's like free shipping when you order from a specific amount but i'm not sure if it's worldwide but i'm also going to check that and confirm and you know put it on the screen for you guys i'm going to do an installation video for those that will be interested so that will be all for now thanks for watching and bye so now that the hair is completely dried we're going to head straight into plucking the lace for my lace i don't like an over plucked lace okay i basically just want to do something very light and this wig you can rock it even without plucking the lace as you can see that it has like a natural hairline effect already i just want to do like a small plucking because of the kind of look i want to go for so for this all you need is your rat tail comb and your tweezer or lash applicator so first I'm going to properly part the hair to get the midline. So next I'm going to cut out a very thin line on the front of the lace and basically just start tweezing from the back. I don't really know how to explain this but just watch and understand what I'm doing. While tweezing, you want to avoid being on a spot for too long so you don't end up having a bald spot. So I tweezed one line and went back to check if I was okay with what the result is looking like and when I realized I wasn't okay, I you know cut out another line and i continued tweezing so you just want to keep going back and forth till you get the perfect effect that you want So I repeated the process for the other half of the hair and this is what it's looking like. So next I'll just basically twist the mid part so I can get a clear center part. So next I'm basically just going to apply my IKT wax stick before slicking down with my hot comb. So guys this is what the wig is looking like i didn't really bleach the knot that much as you can see and i didn't also do so much with the plucking my perfect effect that i want so i'm just going to move straight into the installation <laughs> 